Jace, another pretty typical scorching performance last night, a good bowling effort and then um, kind of grinding way down chasing the total. Yeah, it was nice. Um, put into the field first up and then, yeah, we did what we do best with the ball, restricted them early and then made it really tough for them to score at the back end. And then, yeah, as we saw, we took it deep. AT made sure that he was there at the end again. Um, yeah, 50 off 20 odd balls and, and really showing us how to play at the stadium. You had a real stranglehold on them with the ball. You went back to the spin kind of the last few minutes for a little while. Was that probably the right call in the end? Trent Bolton, uh, Hilton had a bit of the field day of Heat and Ashton there. Yeah, they sort of got away from us a little bit at the back end, but we needed those two to bowl their overs as well. So. Uh, the way we're trying to structure the innings, trying to take those poles and get as many as we could. Um, but then we still had those two overs of spin, so we needed to make sure we got them out the way as well. Is there a temptation to stick with um, Jai and AJ to try and knock them over before that? Yeah, there, there probably was. I think AT was calculating that. Um, but knowing though as well that if we didn't take those wickets, uh, and it doesn't always happen that way, that then uh, probably Hats and, a, um, and Ash probably might have had to bowl sort of 18 and 19, um, which is always a tough ask for a spinner in particular. Jai's form at the moment is pretty amazing. Is he pretty much back to his best in your eyes? Yeah, he's going quite nicely. Um, I think he bowled a few really quick deliveries as well last night, so that's really pleasing for Richo. And yeah, he's, uh, he took a little bit of stick at times, um, but was really clever with the way he came back, took some wickets, and yeah, to be on two hat tricks in one night was a pretty special effort. And it's, you touched on Ashton as well, and his form's pretty incredible at the moment, leading from the front. Um, how you see him as a skipper kind of taking two victories in a row. Yeah, well, he's, um, he's one of the most calm skippers I've played under, and, and he's a really calculated cricketer. So his cricket brain's excellent. The way he, I guess, works in the field with us as the bowlers in particular, fields he sets, but then with the bat, he's so calculated. Um, and that's something that, that he's done over the last couple of games, as you said, but he's done it all through his career. Um, so we knew that we can back him in to do that and get us over the line. Yeah, so I think we are looking at some other players, whether they're local players or international players, uh, but we've definitely got a couple in the wings already. So Cameron, Branco oh, Cameron Bancroft is going really well at the moment, so he'll no doubt slide into one of those spots up the top of the order. Uh, Cooper Connolly uh, is an exciting left-hander, so if he gets a chance, watch out for him as well. Um, and then Hamish McKenzie has been bowling really nicely, left arm leg spinner um, and also left-handed bat. So there's a few there that could come in if needed. Um, but again, yeah, we're looking for some more options as well. And something on Ash in the test, maybe playing in Sydney, I mean, that, that would be so good to make his comeback. Yeah, it would be. Um, he's in fantastic form, Ash, and it doesn't matter what colour ball or what format he's playing, he's doing a great job, and we're really stoked for him. Uh, we found out last night that he got the call up, and just the genuine care in our group and the love um, is outstanding, and yeah, there was lots of hugs and high five for Ash, and we wish him all the best. It's Lance Morris as well, you said a few weeks ago that you kind of Part of you hopes you don't see him too much for the Scorchers. Are you hoping he potentially gets his chance in the SCG test? I'd love to see Lance play, yeah. He's bowling fast and he's a real aggressor and that's something that's really important to have in an attack. So if he gets his chance, yeah, we'll be probably glued to the uh, the test match. That's for sure to watch every moment of it. You know better than anyone, sorry, I mean, the depth in Australian cricket, I mean, even for yourself, it must be just not frustrating, but wow, you just go, how do you get in there? Yeah, it's a, it's a great spot to be in from a, an Australian point of view to have so many guys that are performing well at the domestic level to, to take their international call up when it comes. So yeah, as you said, it can be frustrating at times waiting in the wings, but there's so many guys doing a great job and, and when you get your chance, you want to take it. Adam Life, um, he's only got a few games left for you, but finally found some form last night. It must be pleasing to see him get the runs. Yeah, it was really good. He, we spoke a lot about just giving yourself a little bit more time at the top of the order, knowing that we can really back end our innings at the stadium. So that was great to see him get a bit more time out in the middle, make a few runs. And unfortunately, the way he got out, you're one in a hundred sort of thing. It's off the thigh pad, off the arm, off the helmet, onto the stumps. But yeah, he's going nicely now and hopefully continue that form for us. You mentioned back ending your innings. Is that behind the decision to hold off on the power surge in the last couple of games and leave it too late? Yeah, it certainly helps. Um, and well, again, against the strikers, we needed the power surge right at the back end. And that was, again, a, a calculated decision to try and make sure that we were going to give ourselves the best chance of winning that game. And yeah, I, I think from memory, we didn't actually end up taking it last night, just the way the game unfolded. But yeah, it's a, a good chance for us to build that momentum in the back half of the innings and, and look to take it quite late. Hamish McKenzie's one from your club. 
club a, a really good story. If he was to get his chance um, in, in Ashton's place, how exciting would that be? Very exciting. Yeah, Hamish has come a long way in the last few years and to see him on a state contract with WA, to be in the Scorcher squad, yeah, it's really exciting. He's a great prospect and if he does get a chance, I'm sure he'll do really well. Yeah, great crowd. Um, so I think it was just under 28,000 last night. So they're slowly building. So hopefully with a bit more momentum, another couple games at home soon, love to see it sort of tick over 30, mid 30s and yeah, get Optus really rocking. It'll be un unreal. Could be one of the great years with, with the number of guys coming out. Yeah, exactly. But as you, as you mentioned before, the depth in Australian cricket, but also in our squad, that's something we pride ourselves on. And we've had over the last few years, there's so many quality players that are in the squad that aren't getting a chance at the moment. Um, so our depth will be tested, but it's something we look forward to as well. Just the big crowds that you've been getting it off, does that kind of give a bit more weight to you guys getting more marquee games going forward? Obviously our Boxing Day is a big one, but some New Year's clashes and things like that maybe? Yeah, let's hope so. Uh, we love playing in front of our fans at, at home. Like We've got such an amazing member base. The fans that come out and support us every week that we get to play at home, um, that's something we feed off as players. Like the atmosphere last night, like Jai actually said as he was running in for his hat trick ball, the, the noise was so loud it almost almost put him off a little bit. Like so, it's it's really cool to play in front of that sort of crowd. Um, so yeah, so the more big games we can get, the more people that come in, it's just exciting for us and for cricket. Uh, the, the trip face in Melbourne, um, what are you expecting from them at the moment? Well, they're a tough tough squad at the moment. The Renegades, they're playing some really good cricket. Um, yeah, Martin Guptill's come back into the side, Finchy, Soss, um, yeah, tough outfit to play, especially at Marvel, so they'll, they'll be spinner heavy, I think, going into that clash like they have been, um, but again, another challenge for us and, and something we're looking forward to. Some more familiar names in the side like there was last night, you would have bowled a lot to, to Sean over the years, how do you sort of treat him as an opposition player? <laughs> yeah, you've got to treat him with respect, that's for sure, he's a class player, um, and we've seen that it doesn't matter if he's played one game or a hundred. Um, he's ready to go, he's in great touch already, um, playing well the other night. So, yeah, we know Sean obviously very well. Uh, we'll have some good plans against him, but we've just got to make sure, yeah, we treat him with respect and, um, and we put the pressure on him early as well. Aaron Hardy batting three last night, was that a left-hand, right-hand thing with bat going first, or is that something we might see on, on the weekend and going forward? Yeah, it's something we could potentially look at going forward. Um, Hards has stepped into a really nice role with, with Mitch in particular out. So Mitch was batting three for us last year. Uh, that big, strong all-rounder. Um, so it's something we could potentially keep going with. I think it's condition-based as well, depending on the wicket situation, things like that. But it shows us that we've got options, which is really important. Are you surprised Australian selectors haven't thought about Hardy a bit more as well? It's, it's hard to say whether they have or not thought about him. It's, it's hard to not think about him, to be fair. He's, He's going so well. His back end of last season, Shield final, I think he scored 170. Uh, his bowling's come along in leaps and bounds as well. So he's an exciting prospect um, and someone that, yeah, we'd obviously love to keep around for as long as possible because he's an important part of our team. But again, we love seeing our guys play for Australia. So he's probably not too far away in that respect as well. Excellent. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it.